Hi, this is Randy from Fried Eggs Golf, and welcome out to Beverly's Hills Golf Course. We're here, finally. It's a beautiful spring day. I cannot wait to get out here on the- Randy, get off the green, it's too wet. What do you mean it's too wet, it's fine. Don't make me tell you again, get off that green. Yeah, why don't you make me? The old man's looking for his ball that he just hit during that intro scene we shot up in the field because he hates to lose golf ball. Did you find it? Hey, you coming down here or not? I found it. <laughs> All joking aside, we are out here at Beverly Hills today. Uh, we are unfortunately not able to play even though it is a beautiful spring day. This is very saturated. He hates the fact that we're standing on it right now. Now we did put drainage all the way around the green if you want to check that video out. It is on my channel and that helps with like the standing water. We don't get standing water barely ever anymore, but we do get some heavy saturation during this time of the year because we didn't build this thing properly. We'll get into that later in the video, talk to you about it, but this whole video is really gonna be about our plans of what we wanna do uh, this spring, this summer, and how we hope to, to change Beverly Hills for the better. This is easily the worst part of the green, and as you get up, you know, up into the the top portion there, it's almost completely dry. Do you, how many days a week do you wear a shirt with your own logo on it? As much as possible. Do you want to start out by telling them what we're planning on doing then this year? Like what uh, your game? What I'm getting ready to do for the spring to open this? Sure, let's start there. All right. Go ahead. All right, what we're going to do is I bought some crab grass preventer, which I'm going to go around the green, the tea stations, because we had some crabgrass last year and hopefully I was told if we get this down that should take of the problem. Another problem we have is I got a stuff that's called Trimac weed killer for bent grass and it'll take care of all this clover that's coming up. That'll kill that but it won't kill the green. And that's one other issue right now because it's not hot we don't have any problem with the fungus and the dollar spots and we won't for a while but we do have problems with this right here, it's called silver moss, but it only it takes less than a half an ounce to treat this whole green, so it lasts a long time. It's called quicksilver. So those are basic like maintenance things that you're gonna in take, the spring. Yeah, you're gonna take care of anyway. But right. anything new that we're planning on doing out here that you want to talk about? I mean, we've been talking about it for quite a while, putting in a the sand, sand trap. trap. We've got to do that this year. We, I promised we'd get it done last year. We didn't get well, it done. Well, there's some problems. Let's go over here and we'll talk about what that is because it's not as easy as just laying down a tarp and pouring sand on top of a tarp. <laughs> we really want to place a bunker in this area right here. One of the main problems is here? our drainage tiles run in this direction. One's right here. And yeah. one's about there under your feet right there. Yeah. Is it that far? I yeah. think it's all further. It is. Anyway, I think the play personally is to kind of clear out an area, build up a berm with the dirt we clear out, and then fill that in with sand, and then maybe even put some drainage underneath the sand trap. We'll have to look on how to do that. Any now, suggestions, let us know. Technically, we built this green wrong, and we kind of suffer the consequences where we have to wait an extra probably month to play on it. As Over opposed, everybody else. Here's my thought. We took at least an inch of sod off of the ground here. And in doing so, we set the turf lower into the ground than the ground beside it. Because we didn't put that much dirt down. And I think what we should have done, and we could have done to prevent this, is put, like you said, a base layer of like pea gravel down, and then a sand soil mixture and build the green up above the ground around it, rather than set it down. That probably would have worked. Bringing up the idea of if we were to build a new green from scratch, <laughs> we we, we kind of have a crackpot idea we'd like to share with you today. Now don't get me wrong, we're not bored with playing out here. We love playing out here. But my dad is going to retire next, next year. year. At this time. You know, and he's got a little more time on his hands, so we've contemplated put it in a second green. Now you can see me walking away from the green behind us here. We're not moving that far away. What would you say, 40 yards, 50 yards? Yeah. And the idea is to build a second green adjacent to this one to where we could have a back nine. We kind of put up a dummy flag here. <laughs> this to me is a much more picturesque hole and location to play on because 
it sets nicely, it has a natural slope, there's no place for the water to collect, it would drain, and then we could also build it right from the get-go. So I think we want to kind of show you what we have in mind. All right, so we're walking up this little pathway that we have that goes back to my dad's woods back here. And you can see just over my shoulder, see if I can find it, right there's the flag stick sitting right up on the hill. Just perched up there so perfectly. It's almost like this should have already been a, a golf course right here. The idea is, is to place tee boxes up this pathway as they slowly get farther and farther away from that hole. Now, let me walk you up here just a little bit of the ways and you can kind of see what it looks like. Right now we're about 117 yards away from that flag stick. So the way we figure it, we have nine tee boxes starting at 90 yards, going back uh, to 160 yards. So it gives us a little bit more variance in the clubs we're gonna use. It's not wedges all the way around. So it could be fun. Holy crap, did you about dunk that? Like I said, it goes back to the back tee box back here and would be about 160 yards. Move out of the way, you're ruining the picture. Oh my God. You can see there's like a nice cool little alley that you get to fire the ball through. This grows in real thick once these uh, little trees bloom. What are these, are these tulips? No. You wouldn't know anyway. Poison oak. It's not poison <laughs> oak. This is kind of the idea. The hardest part's gonna be to build the green, uh, but we may have a work around that. I'll get back to you later. But this is kind of, yeah, tea stations, but this is what we have in mind. This is what we aspire to make Beverly's Hills. We want to add a back nine, but it's got so much more land. Let's, let's explore. This right back here, this is all, all the old man. So we, we spotted this little chestnut right here. This little pathway, where's my finger at? There it is, right there. So that's where we're heading. That's where the par four will live. <laughs> Let's go. Why are we carrying our bags all the way back here? Uh, foreshadowing. This is our Ray's Creek right here. Are there fish in there? Oh my gosh. Bushwhacked. This must be like deer. Is that why it's so matted down? Yeah. It looks like deer walk through here. <laughs> when you hit the ground, you didn't make any noise. I thought you died. <laughs> Immediately, I thought you died. Oh, wow, man. This is like made for this. <laughs> I just can't believe you fell. Where we're standing now is approximately where we would want to put the tee box. You can see up the chute there. Let me zoom in so you can see. Right there is that little landing area. Where's my finger? That right there is about where that 9T box was. So to that point, it's about 160 yards out from the green. So we have a fairly decent par four here. I think we can, we can build. 217 to where that T box was. It's about 215 yards. It gives me about another, we go back this way a little farther. We're at 160, 215, 375. 375? I don't know, let's go back a little farther. Let's see. You can actually it. kick that out. Yeah, that's nothing. We got these trees, we can take trees out all day. You can actually put two tea stations. This here. is like. One be a par four, one be a par five. Oh, I'm liking this. Let's go farther back. Watch your step for crying out loud. <laughs> oh man, put one up here in the pines? About right here. Oh my gosh. Got the limbs out? No, you take that bush out, man. You're about gold here. This is where a drone would really come in handy. Oh yeah. They can't hear us because we're all the way down here. I'm gonna yell loud because it's up high. This essentially would be the view for that par four and I think this is a winner right here. I don't know how you're gonna measure it. You're gonna have to walk this off because mine won't read it. No, you can, I can shoot that bush. Mine says nine, nine yards to that bush. Nine yards? Nine yards. Well, that's to that bush. Well, I guess nine yards is 27. That's like 27 feet. What bush are you talking about? I'm talking about that pine tree. Well, how are you gonna shoot that through that? Climb this tree or something. Is pine strong? Yeah, you, I'll hold you. Easy. <laughs> Says the man. It's not, it's not like it's old pine. It's 
This is the man not climbing the tree. <laughs> no, it might not hold me. A lot of sap in here. Oh, I get this limb out of the way. Almost 240 exactly. It's going to be. To where that is. Four. So that's 400 yards. Dude, I am so sticky. That thing's all sappy? It's all sap. I'm saying 230 gets you over that bush from here. No. I think. I don't know, my yardages aren't, I can't see clearly, so I don't know for sure. Do you want to play it? I don't care. Let's play it. You want to play it from back there? Yeah, we're going to play it. We'll play it one from each. What are you doing with my ball? Get a, get a white one. Don't get a brown one, you'll be able to find it. It don't matter, you got a million of them in here. My hands are so sticky, I don't even need a glove. <laughs> I mean, it can cut a little bit, right? Because the ideal line is ideal right there with a little baby cut. Cause, that little tree, let it cut yeah, because right there is probably the middle of the fairway over those bushes. All right, let's see it. Alright, that wraps it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this is all just this is a pipe dream really. I mean we're let's let's concentrate on the bunker. I would really love to make this happen though. That was that could be a lot of fun. At this point it's worth doing because he, this man broke what do you think, four ribs? Seven. He broke seven ribs falling down that hill back there. <laughs> Please leave your comments, suggestions, what you think we should do next out here. Do you think we should put the par fours in? Do you think that we should put the time and effort into building this back nine up? But we look forward to hearing from you, and we'll see you next time. Bye.